Hello, 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 and welcome back to We Managed to Chase Them Off, a Catcher's High Score Run, episode 6, I think now. We're getting into the back end of this run, which is good. She's managed to get herself slightly sick and slightly wounded. Oh, yippee, well done, Catcher. Um, we managed to chase them off, though. We used a bit of ammo. We did get some more ammo yesterday, so that's not the end of the world. Damn, it's starting to cool down. We'll probably hit winter in the next day or two, but that does mean we are less likely to get raided, which is always a positive in these runs. Honestly, catch not been able to build up too much stuff. We're doing all right on the furniture front, which is always a which is always a good thing, but we are yeah struggling to get up much other score. Um, I think it's because we kind of lost a lot of our stuff earlier. Once I have Roman and we're able to build all this stuff up, and then we can just guard pretty much always. The only issue is always that guarding versus going out and getting stuff. We did have the trader come last time. I do need to try and get some cans. My best, my target now is to get cans and parts, I think. So that is something I can try and do going forward. But we don't know. Hopefully things will go, go well going forward. I doubt we'll see anyone. The thing that we could see though today is those children who came last time. Because the last time we were able to give them the medicine that they need, they'll probably come again for food and then we get a good boost at the end, which is nice. Of stuff. The main thing I am a little bit worried about though is getting the cans, because they may come back and be like, can I have some cans? We may be able to say, maybe next time. There should be a rule that says if there is one person in the house, they don't send people who are kind of not there great. Yes, so they came on day 16, it's now day 18, so they could come back I suppose, but I'm not really expecting anything because she needs to just... Well, there's not really much she can do. I probably should have guarded last night and then slept today, because tomorrow we're going to go out and we're going to do some stuff, which will be good. Nice. Ah, uh, here goes. We're still waiting on people and seeing what they can do. Come on. This is the issue with this War of Mine. It always ends up being a bit slow when you're just waiting for people. There just needs to be a fast forward button somewhere. But yeah. Nice. Cool. Yeah, I think that's going to be the end of the day. I don't think anyone's turning up today. That's fine. We'll sleep through, but now we have to decide where we're actually going out to. A lot of stuff is closed. I could try and take out the guy here. Because there is a decent amount of parts, apparently. Uh, the semi-detached house is probably too dangerous. Um, there's apparently some harmless lunatic in the hotel. There's the rebels at the thing, the brothel. The looted gas station. Maybe the garage would have some parts in it. Maybe not, though. Uh, is there a place where it says... <sighs> I kind of want the saw blade if I'm going to a looted gas station. I think maybe the supermarket is my best bet. Because there are some parts there, but there's a huge amount of parts at the supermarket, and I can get the boost to helping the guy. So I think if I just take that and that with five, of, with actually you know what, there's no point taking any less than all of it. It's not going to do any any harm sitting where it needs to be sitting. Um, so yeah, I can do a backstab with the crowbar and then shoot the guy. That should be fine. And then I could be able to loot whatever I want to my heart's content using the crowbar. This is going to be a very very productive night. Yeah, you're not alone here. Let's run, 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 and then when you get here, we're going to switch to the crowbar to get ourselves a decent backstab. Because catch is not a bad backstab, but it probably won't do it in one. Nice. No, 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 back away, back away. Shit! <laughs> And after that very abrupt ending, here we are, on the score sheet to see how well Catcher did. I think this one has pretty much solidified my decision to do a second run with the characters who didn't make it, just to see how I would have done if I did them to the end. But here we go, because I'm going through my list here and it's not looking good for Catcher if I'm totally honest. Especially not compared to Amelia, who I know made it to the end, and Sveta, who I also made it to the end. The fact that they were doing pretty well 
it's it's insane that Kadja didn't do too well. I will do another run with her. So first we have the Metal Workshop, which was 10. Upgraded the Full Workshop, that's 10. Upgraded the Oven, that's another 10, so that's 30. Then there was a Bed, which was 33. The Heater Level, so that's 43. Boarded up and the Door, so that's 63. Then also had the Herbal Workshop, so that's 68. So actually, the best in terms of furniture that we had so far. So that's pretty damn good. However, on food, at the end, she only had one raw food and one vegetable, so that's five. The worst on food. She didn't have any alcohol, so let's put a big fat zero in there, which is the same as Anton. Weapons and armor. Unfortunately, at the end, she only had the shotgun and six bullets because she let one off. Even though she had seven when she arrived, she had six, so that's going to be... An 11 there. If I just drag this down just so we can see it for now. We're up to 84. Not looking great. We had the crowbar. And that was it. So we put a 5 in there. And then in the meds, we had nothing. In the water, we had... Uh, what was the water? 3. And didn't give anything away, I don't believe. Puts us at 92. Morality penalty, again, no morality penalty. That was 5 for the death penalty, and 12 for that, putting us at 75. If I drag this down, officially last place. Catcher deserves better, but what can we do? In order to make it seem as if this is going to last a bit longer, I may leave some blank space at the end of this video. By all means, just click off now. Next up, we'll be Marin. And then we're actually already over halfway through. So if you're liking this, please do like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And um, I'll see you in Marriage Run.